You moved my English book. Uh, try the chest under the paper. Hurry up, you're going to make us late. That's not it. It's a book. Steinbeck, we're doing it in English today. Holly put it in your bag already. No, I just checked. Five, four, three, two, one. Told you. Actually, that's just the notes one. Well, don't look too smug. Your new teacher won't be so impressed when you tell her you didn't find it. Oh, well, there's no point denying it. I didn't. <laughs> look at this. What kind of idiot uses a pressure washer like as a fully paid up member of the riot squad? Well, probably the same sort of idiot that walks around the back of a tractor when it's being washed. <laughs> right, I've got to go. Are you still popping to the pub for your lunch later? Yeah, why not? Might do a spot of refereeing. Oh, it's not me. He had to go at all of us yesterday for mishandling his spoons. What do you do, bend them? Well, I might start bending them over his head. <laughs> Yeah, mice and men who's reading that's supposed to be good there. Uh -huh. Thank you. I tell you what, I feel sorry for that Marlon. Trying to take your mother on. Oh, I have no idea what your father is talking about. Come on. <gasps> See you later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> yes, but we can count on you both for tomorrow, right? Oh, ah, yeah, we'll be there. Oh, All right. Enough said. Lazy. No, clearly it's more like. Apparently she tried to buy this place once with Daddy's money. You've got to give her credit for that. Yeah. Hey, don't be getting any ideas, you. Ah, oh, we'll have to cancel the deposit on that thousand-acre sheep ranch then, shall I? <laughs> right, I'll go grab a table outside then, shall I? Yes, boss. I'll just see if your mum can take a break and join us for ten minutes. All right. Do you want to see the men? Hey, people. No quarter given or asked. I think Captain Cook over there should calm down a bit, don't you? See? I thought this was sponsored by the pub. Doesn't mean we get free beer all the way through the match, Zach. What's up to uh, Bob and Moira? Uh, uh, Bob's on his way and Moira's bottled it, I'm afraid. How come? Nah, she ain't really. Dan couldn't spare her, apparently. Oh, that's all we need. I think we'll manage. It might be just me, uh, actually, but I think we should maybe uh, knock it down a notch or two, you know, tension wise. What do you mean? I think you're taking it all a bit too seriously, Ashley. <laughs> I'd just rather not lose any more oh, team right. members if I can help him. I've already lost two players yeah, to work commitments. Ready for it? Down, you see, cricket, the great game as we call it, could therefore be a metaphor for life, or life as I think God would have us live it. And so before we start, let us say a prayer. Dear Lord. I thought we were playing cricket. Let's been all the Bible game. bashing. Tell me about it. I'm going to kill Dad for getting me into this. I'll show him how it's done. Listen, you were out for 11. Hey, I did better. That's my boy. Mind you, you'd have two. <laughs> Oi. I arrived just in time to see it, and to be honest, I'd rather watch paint dry. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. 11's all right, isn't it? It's respectable enough. Yeah, of course it is, Dad. And anyway, it wasn't LBW. Well, either way, you've been the one mouthing off telling us you were going to be the next Freddie Flynn. <laughs> Do you mean Freddie Flintoff? It's Freddie Flintoff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Laugh it up, Mr. Eleven, right?